warrior prince. A noble heart in a land where thieves run feral. Jasmine! Welcome to Series Pulse, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best movies starring Will Smith. We hope you will enjoy this list. Please let us know your favorites in the comments and subscribe if you don't want to miss more fun videos like this. Don't start nothing. <laughs> Won't be nothing. Needy's about my face for something bad happened to you. Number 10, Independence Day. You lose, you yes, sir. You got your victory dance? Well, I got it right here. Yeah. Hey, hey, don't get premature on me, soldier. We don't light up to the fat lady sings. Directed by Roland Emmerich, Independence Day is a 1996 sci-fi action film starring an ensemble cast led by Will Smith and features Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman, and Mary McDonnell. In this blockbuster movie, unusual events appear all around the world. The sky catches fire, terror sweeps the world's biggest cities. As these astonishing events develop, it becomes evident that a tremendous force has arrived with the purpose of total annihilation over the 4th of July weekend. An unlikely group of people joined by fate in unthinkable circumstances is the last hope for stopping the catastrophe. Goodbye. I'll take care, all right? None but love for you. None but love for you. You think they have any clue what's about to happen to him? Oh, not a chance in hell. Number nine, where the day takes you. What were you locked up for? Assault with a deadly weapon. Spum was trying to rob me, so I hit him with a bottle. Directed by Mark Rocco, Where the Day Takes You is a 1992 crime drama thriller film starring Dermot Mulroney, Laura Flynn Boyle, Sean Astin, Balthazar Getty, and Will Smith. King is young, yet he's already a veteran at surviving on the streets of L.A. King serves as the leader of a gang of runaways and as a mentor to troublesome youth, including gay hustler Little Jay and addict Greg. The group dynamic changes when Heather, a beautiful girl from Chicago, starts hanging out with the King and his gang. However, it seems that nothing Nothing will change their reckless behavior. Nothing I, I just don't want to do anymore. It's all right. I didn't mean to scare you. What the hell do you want to do? Number eight, Aladdin. What are you going to wish? Oh, I, I haven't thought about that. Hmm. You really are not that guy. OK. So what would you wish for? A live action adaptation of Disney's 1992 animated film of the same name. Aladdin is a 2019 musical fantasy film directed by Guy Ritchie, starring Will Smith, Mina Massoud, and Naomi Scott. A likable street kid named Aladdin encounters Princess Jasmine, the beautiful daughter of the Sultan of Agrabah. Aladdin discovers a magical oil lamp, summoning a witty and larger-than-life genie. As Aladdin and the genie become friends, they are soon driven to embark on a daring quest to prevent the wicked sorcerer Jafar from dethroning young Jasmine's kingdom. You will cower before a sorcerer. Genie, I wish to become the most powerful sorcerer there is. As you wish, master. Number seven, enemy of the state. I lost my job. I am asking you. I'm asking you to please just trust me on this Rachel Banks thing right now. How in God's name can I trust you? Enemy of the State is a 1998 political action thriller film directed by Tony Scott. The film stars Will Smith and Gene Hackman. Thomas Reynolds, a corrupt National Security Agency officer, has ordered the assassination of a congressman in order to ensure the approval of broad new surveillance legislation. Robert Clayton Dean, a labor lawyer and devoted family man, is falsely accused of the murder after a videotape of the crime is found in his possession. With the help of former intelligence agent Edward Brill Lyle, Dean seeks to throw Reynolds off his track and prove his innocence. Tell him to give me the tape. <laughs> what guarantees do we have? If None. None. Number six, six degrees of separation. Is these all rich people? No. Hand to mouth on a higher plateau. Damn, it got to be rough to be with rich people. Got to have money. Directed by Fred Schapisi, Six Degrees of Separation is a 1993 comedy-drama film starring Stockard Channing, Will Smith, and Donald Sutherland. Flan and Weeza, privileged art dealers, are hosting a dinner party when Paul, a young man covered in blood, knocks on their door. He charms his way into the house by claiming to be a friend of their Ivy League children. However, when the couple learns the truth about Paul and his true identity, they throw him out. While the couple tells their friends about Paul, his presence is surprisingly difficult to shake. Off. The very beginning of life and the very end of life. What about the 80 years we have to live between those two inexorable bookends? 
And you can get all that into cats? Number five, the pursuit of happiness. Christopher, stand with me. You're the one that dragged us down. Did you hear me? You are so weak. No, I am not happy anymore. I'm just not happy. Then don't get happy, Linda. Starring Will Smith, The Pursuit of Happiness is a 2006 biographical drama film directed by Gabrielle Muccino. For Chris Gardner, a single father, life is a struggle. He and his young son find themselves alone and without a place to stay after being evicted from their apartment. Chris finally gets a job as an intern at a respected brokerage firm, but the job pays nothing. The duo must live in shelters and face numerous setbacks, but Chris refuses to give up hope as he works to build a better life for himself and his son. Did you have a nickname? Yep. What? Ten Gallon Head. <laughs> What's that? I grew up in Louisiana near Texas. Everybody wears cowboy hats. Number four, Spies in Disguise. Sleepy Night Night! Oh! I miss my hands. Spies in Disguise is a 2019 animated spy comedy film starring the voices of Will Smith and Tom Holland. Lance Sterling, the super spy, and Walter Beckett, the scientist, are polar opposites. Lance is smooth, impressive, and dashing. Walter isn't. What Walter lacks in social skills, he more than makes up for in intelligence and creativity. Designing amazing tools, Lance utilizes on his epic missions. When things take an unexpected turn, Lance and Walter must rely on each other in a completely different way. If this oddball duo can't learn to work together, the entire world is in jeopardy. Being a pigeon is actually way cooler than it seems. And if you just embrace your new form, you'll see all the advantages. Number three, bad boys for life. George, follow rape! Yep. Hey, big man, I'm gonna need you to hurt some people. I'll pay for the therapy, all right? I'm gonna need it. The third installment in the Bad Boys franchise, Bad Boys for Life is a 2020 buddy cop action comedy film starring Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. A Mexican drug lord's wife and son set out on a vengeance mission to kill everyone involved in his conviction and incarceration, including Miami detective Mike Lowry. When Mike is injured, he joins forces with his partner Marcus Burnett and Ammo, a special tactical unit to bring the criminals to justice. However, the old school wisecracking officers must quickly cooperate cooperate with their new elite colleagues if they are to bring down the deadly cartel threatening their lives. That is your slingshot yeah. to smite down enemies. You know what? Bad boys of the Bible, baby. Exactly. Number two, Men in Black. What's the catch? The catch? The catch is you will sever every human contact. Nobody will ever know you exist anywhere. Men in Black is a 1997 sci-fi action comedy film directed by Barry Sonnenfeld, starring Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. They are the universe's best-kept secret. K and J are the Men in Black, suppliers of immigration services and regulators of all things alien on Earth, working for a well-funded but unofficial government organization. While researching a string of unreported close encounters, the MIB agents uncover the deadly scheme of an alien terrorist on a mission to eliminate two ambassadors from rival galaxies currently residing in New York City. What did I have to do, sing it for you? Well, if you weren't coming on like some drunken prom date. Oh, God, that is so typical. Anytime a woman shows the slightest hint of sexual independence. Oh, boy, shut up! Let her go, shit eater. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I am legend. <laughs> Ali. See, there you go agitating. You should have asked Smoking Joe, what have he been smoking? That boy even dreamed he whooped me. He better wake up and apologize. Men in Black 3. I was waiting for my girl. Staring. Yes, she's Greek. Okay, just one last thing. Number one, King Richard. That ain't nothing but a few minor adjustments. You got to stay prepared for whatever's unpredictable, okay? Come on now, give your daddy a kiss. Directed by Ronaldo Marcus Green, King Richard is a 2021 biographical sports drama film starring Will Smith. Richard Williams is determined to engrave his daughters Venus and Serena into history. Armed with a clear vision and bold strategy, training on neglected tennis courts in Compton, the girls are shaped by their father's unrelenting passion and their mother's sharp instincts, defying impossible odds. King Richard, based on the inspiring true story, recounts the uplifting journey of a family whose unflinching faith 
faith ultimately produces two of the greatest tennis players in history. No respect for yourself right now. You will never have none. At all. You are a champion. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments below.